so hidden it's only like a half an hour drive from the city center guys when the world ends this is the spaceship to take off in the space away from the planet hello guys welcome back to another episode we are at Glen Amato on a big adventure around New Zealand for 10 months and at the moment we are in this beautiful town of Christchurch guys we made it back for everyone who doesn't know us thanks so much for tuning in we already made a few episodes here yeah. in Christchurch if you haven't seen them go and check them out and we're back we're so happy to be back we really like Christchurch and we're gonna make maybe a few more videos here in this beautiful city and it looks so much different it's not recognizable this time the port hills look very dry the, and but port like hills, the Sahara Desert up there at the moment the port hills were on fire guys firefighters are battling a large scrub fire in Christchurch's port hills the last time we came it was just before really? the summer now it's almost after summer yeah. and a lot of you guys have told us we missed out on a few things so here today we are back and we're gonna do a few things today we're gonna go to Sumner Beach and to the Goodly Head it says on the Google Maps that it's temporarily closed we're gonna check this out and it's one of the main things you should do here in Christchurch and a lot of people recommended it to us we actually been already to the portals another pretty amazing thing let's do this let's do it let's go now look at the mountains it's so dry so that's a, guys so that's the port it's unrecognizable hills. compared to last one so we just parked here up at Ferry Meat Bridge so nothing special but honestly like it already gives us like for us Spain wise really summery yeah. vibes and it's already the end of summer honestly so. the, the summer is pretty intense here in Christchurch so let's hit the road look at this nice. it's amazing we just passed the port hills there in the back giving me like Mediterranean Mediterranean vibes here in Christchurch all um, places, man. of all the places guys I'm so happy to be back at the ocean I just like the ocean on the east coast Whoa. God, it's like almost cliffs. This looks like I'm going through wow. the Canary Islands or something in Spain. Yeah. Fire hazard though. Look at that. It's all dried up. Oh, yeah. It's so dry though. Guys, welcome to Sunmar Beach. All you guys recommended it. And here we are enjoying this mini paradise here on the outskirts of Christchurch. It looks like a thriving place right now. Beautiful day for the blue, blue skies and lovely sandy beaches here in the front which we're gonna quickly explore we found a little paradise here in Christchurch called Sumner Beach look at all the little sand dunes and all that wow. I don't know we have something here on top of uh, this rockery uh, little mountain here in the background I'm gonna tell you what it is the cave rock Tua Vera are you going up to explore it? sure and it seems like they have a lot of little cliffs along the side as well so it's pretty cool if you're out traveling or visiting New Zealand in summer make sure you wear your hat your sunglasses I'm just not wearing them because I'm talking to you guys but like I'm wearing them all the time and put on your sun cream several times a day it's super important because the sun is actually stronger than you think yeah so we always wear everything because yeah summer in New Zealand is the sun is very very strong can't get over this beauty here I absolutely love beaches and being close to the sea so I'm so happy to be back that's kind of what I missed after spending some time in Queenstown do miss the ocean okay I just realized why this thing is called the cave rock because it's like a rock on a cave <laughs> and this guy is doing a bit of music Glenn would love that if I'm telling him I found a cave he absolutely loves caves we have a little uh little beach, little, little uh, cave over here in Summer Beach it's pretty cool how are you doing boss? how are you? good work? that's a cute little place isn't it? Yeah. a little bit of hibernation in here I mean I think the tide comes in here mad out because it's all wet oh Jesus it goes right through oh, wow. to the other side yeah I probably don't think you can go through here when the tide is I know that's what I'm saying it's all wet like but it looks so fun oh that's, my god that's a cool it's a little that's, adventure that's why it's called the cave rock Oh, okay, I get you. I can understand. Watch your head there, Mado. Don't bang your head. Don't want any bumps. Didn't expect that, though. No, I didn't. I love caves. Oh, look at that. I look at the opening. So big. Yeah, she surprised me for my birthday. <laughs> a few caves. But uh, yeah, we're just kind of walking around the beach exploring. Wow. Look at all the beautiful houses here on the mountaintop. Whoever is from Christchurch, you guys live a pretty amazing life here, you know? Yeah, look at that. Looking over the beautiful paradise here in the background, turquoise water. 
guys should be very grateful for what you have on your doorstep in, in New Zealand. There's always beauty, not too far away, walking distance usually, in this uh, lovely country. So, it's paradise, guys. Oh, what's up there? Oh, yeah, do you want to climb up? Yeah. Looks a bit dangerous, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, boss. How are you? Yeah, yeah, All right, you well? Yeah, How are you, great. boss? Good day for it. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Or a little, uh, little hike up the top here. Enjoy it. Up you go, Mado. It's cool, isn't it? Oh. A little hut on top of the mountain. What's inside? I like it. Nice little adventure. Didn't expect that, no. Actually, just wanted to come to get a coffee or something. From Christchurch, guys, yeah? yeah. Nice. Good old paradise up here. What's inside? Cute little view. Definitely recommend jumping up there when you can. Just enjoy the view when you're on, down this way in Christchurch and Summer Beach. I really wasn't expecting the massive uh, cave behind me though. That was a big surprise. Uh, heading over this way now, yeah? Yeah. On the hilltop over there. Maybe, yeah? maybe first you're gonna stop at the bakery I found here. Getting a bit of bread? Maybe a bit of bread. Bit and, of coffee and uh, And also coffee for the end. <laughs> Get the coffee fix, you know, it's very important. Keep the caffeinated uh, buzz going, especially when the sun is draining your, draining your energy sometimes. So what have you found? What's on the menu? There's a, there's a really well rated bakery, it's called Bohemian Bakery. I think there's small locations, but there's one here in Sumner Beach. And I also found a really good ice cream shop, they do real food ice cream and it's called Utopia Ice Cream. You have to relax on the ice cream, Madeline. You love a bit of sugar, don't you? I think I should do first the vlog and then get ice cream. I mean, yeah, then you can kind of reward yourself. Yeah. That's fair, like, you know, you get the cardio in, burn the calories, and then make up the calories again with the ice cream. Okay, let's that you burned. <laughs> let's check out the bakery. Right, let's go. I like the, the waterfront here. I like the walk along the along the beach here. Oh, yeah, it's a mini paradise here of Christchurch on these summer months, guys. It's so amazing, and everybody talked yesterday to locals and they said, oh, it's already it's already a fall and like oh this no is, this, this is, is right. it's 26 bad. degrees today madeline just gone through burke street here to get to the bakery as you know we love walking around house and estates and showing you guys an insight of the architecture in this, in this I'm country i'm always fascinated about new zealand you walk like you or you drive an hour what are you doing i'm getting distracted so you walk I don't know, or drive an hour and everything completely looks so different. And even here now, this we've been half an hour driving so where we just stayed and it just looks like it just reminds me of like it reminds me of like the Canary Islands. Guys if you know the Canary Islands, what it reminds me of. That's a pretty cool bus. That's yeah. a vintage. Oh uh, yeah. Vintage uh, Love the vintage Zealand. cars here in New Zealand. Oh it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And you haven't heard about the Port Hill, that's an amazing place where you can go hiking and I think mountain biking too, no? Mountain boy, you can also mountain squeaks, biking, hiking, you can do everything you want. Really cool place. Oh my god, that also looks really nice. Bonobo Cafe, rated 4.7. Jeez, the name of the street, oh, there's so many nice cafes. Burger Street. Place. Everybody's enjoying the weather anyway. Yeah. Let's have some brunch. Some brunch. I brunch love time. a good brunch. You do? The matter wants to show me these apartment complexes over here in the background, these buildings. I'm not sure what type of style it is. I really don't, but I really, really haven't seen this type of style before in New Zealand. It's real like kind of summery. I'm blown away. Met Mediterranean style. I'm really blown away. You are, aren't you? Guys, if you're thinking about vi visiting Christchurch, also make sure you're visiting the outskirts. I mean, it's very big, so there's a lot going on. I mean, it's quiet at the moment in this area, especially all the restaurants. Irish but beer, then. you have what do you have here? Kilkenny Pizza. Irish beer. How are you, buddy? Uh, you well? Any Irish beer? Yeah, the good stuff. <laughs> I don't know why they're advertising Irish beer. Looks like a little uh, cafe or something, a restaurant. Authentic Indian restaurant. Mm. I can smell it. I don't know. Do you I don't like coriander. I don't like coriander. No, you don't. It's, it tastes like soap for a Madeleine. That's a genetic thing. So it is. You. Yeah, coriander. <laughs> Ice cream place. Oh wow, do you want to go inside and sit in the, in the garden? No. Looks a bit cosy. Because I want to have ice cream later. But look at this. It is a beautiful presentation we have here. It, it does attract you to sit in 
the shade. So you allow me to come back here? No, you're not allowed. Maybe. I want to come back here. It will be ice cream, guys. So we're heading into a little uh, commercial retail area. So obviously it's very quiet, isn't it? It's very quiet. Very quiet. Very quiet. I mean, it's, uh, it's a bakery over here. It's a Thursday, 1 p.m. Some people have to work, Glenn. True that, yeah. And we don't. This is our work. Oh. We're making videos. Making videos, guys, for, for you, you guys. guys. Exploring this beautiful country of New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. So, super value. Where? Ah, there it is, there. Oh, I see it. Ominion Bakery. Is that an op shop? Um, we don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's an op store. Second man. Time and time again. Maybe it is an op store. A higher class op store, maybe. Quickly. Have a quick look inside if you want. That's a small one. Ireland! Oh. Yeah. Welcome to the bakery. Very nice little place. There's a special bread there. Is that the bread you're looking for? The German Roy. German bread for you, my love. Oh, oh, oh. That looks beautiful. Great presentation we have here. How is it coffee? Absolutely out of this world. Cheers, Glenn. We have some, uh, some lovely fruity taste here. Nodes. Lovely fruity nodes here. This coffee, you can taste all of it. Plenty getting very specific. Yeah, very specific. I bought coffee. my German. Coffee's important. I bought German it's bread. It's all about the special taste, you know? I bought German bread. How are you? Are you well? German bread. And if this is good, they're gonna come back for more. So they have a new baking location. In Cashel. What's uh, In Cashel Street. And where did you where did you find out about this bakery matter? Is your research? This is my Google Maps research. Was no, reading, I was in Maps you, for a long period of time, research and stuff. And you have to be reviews. always on top of everything. Mm -hmm. So I found this, but like they were back in the days, they were um, baking here, but now they're baking at Cashel Street, so it's in the city center. So you don't have to actually come all the way out here if you just want to have a coffee or bread. You got it right. So, Glenn, I think we should go to um, Godly, Godly, Godly Head. Godly, Godly, Godly. Godly. Mountain. Goodly oh, head. Walks. Do a bit of walk before we deserve. Before I deserve ice cream. I'm not really. No. Into the walk park, but Madeline's dragging me along. Yeah, I'll just walk back to the car. I get stuff sorted and then continue towards the, the walk. So that's our current situation. And we have to walk back down the main road now instead of the beach. And also, we'll give you an insight down this road. Down but that is gorgeous. What is that this? is looking well. That's a cinema. That is a Hollywood cinema here to the left, guys. But maybe you guys know about this cinema. I think it's under current renovation at the moment. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's all closed off at the moment. Looks like an old school cinema from the old days here in Christchurch. The good days, the good days. <laughs> when all the historical architecture was alive back then. I think it could have been affected by the earthquake as well. As a lot of buildings have been affected due to uh, structural damage. And they're trying to renovate all these years, guys, so that's is, probably uh, why. This is hotter than I thought. Today. It actually is very hot. I can't. The sun is strong, guys. Maybe it's just gonna have a short walk then. It's because we've been down the South Island so long, it's more cool down there, so at the ferry bottom. Joe's garage. A little bar that was sweet. Happy days. And we have a little flower store as well. Lovely plants are sweet. That's a flower store, I think. We're gonna saw it. Check it out. Very fancy, man. Very fancy. We have a nice selection of nice goods here. Maybe if you had a home and not a car, there's a possibility to buy things. The homes are absolutely incredible around here. Yeah, they're amazing. We just passed by another second-hand shop. I think because there are more wealthy people living, so there's more second-hand and more fancy. Is that shop. right? It's like your assumption. A, that's probably yeah, my assumption. But like this. Is <laughs> this is a street out of Spain. That is beautiful, guys. Around the Christchurch, I've noticed there's just so many different designs of homes. I know they've all been quite newly built due to insurance, people paying out insurance for the houses and all sorts of uh, situations. So that's why Christchurch just feels like there's so many new homes because of the earthquake. Um, like you can see, they're just all so different, they're all so beautiful. They look very expensive to build as well. The building more. That building something in here, some more beachside summer um, com apartment complexes. That house is massive. Look at the black house there. It goes back so far. What 
You want to be a wealthy person to own that? Oh my god. Guys, when the world ends, this is the spaceship to take off in the space away from the planet. <laughs> that is a funky looking place. Three, three stories. It looks a bit unusual though. It just doesn't fit with the area, I think. That's just my personal expression. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, matter, you absolute legend. We're on the bread, we're on the good bread here. We always go for the good quality bread. This Maddo is German, and Germans love good quality bread, but me, my Irish, Irish way, I don't really care about bread, but that's just how it is. <laughs> I don't really usually eat bread. I think Maddo just kind of gets me on the bread buzz when, I'm, when we're out and about, so. But if I was by myself, I wouldn't buy bread, usually. But yeah, that looks gorgeous. Good job, Madeline. We're gonna have a bit of peanut butter before we hit the, the little walk. Yeah. And the in this heat wave. Gonna go up the Taylor Mistake, never road, no exit. Yeah, so clean. There's a Ferrari. Oh. Very noisy. A Porsche, yes. sorry. <laughs> very narrow here, apparently. Very, very narrow, narrow, very dangerous. But Loopy, we, windy, all sorts of directions. I mean, we're used to that now because we drove on the west coast, so. Oh, jeez, that's tight, Madeline. Clean. You can do it, you got your travel license yesterday. That'll be fine, yeah. Yeah, true, true. Though. Look at that. Oh, look at the water. Guys, Glenn passed his full driving test here in New Zealand. Yes. He came with a learner license in case you're interested. He came with a learner license. Jake converted it into a, a New Zealand license and he made his his restricted test in Tauranga and then in Kremas his full test yep. yesterday, yep. which he passed. How amazing. Within like Eight months? Happy day as well. Happy worth days, Glenn. Happy days. Well worth the, the journey, the adventure. Both passed on the first attempt. Awesome, Very yeah. proud of you. Good amte. So you good driver. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Jeez. The, the view is out of this world. And what a beautiful day. That's very pretty. But also said at the same time, look how dry the port hills are. Very, very dry. And you see like a glider, King, what do you call them? Gliders, yeah. Gliders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Power gliders! People paragliding down I'd love to port do that. hills. You do? Yeah. You love these extreme things. So it's very really windy and curvy here. That's some pretty cool cliffs. Hello guys, you just arrived at the... Uh, Goggly Hills. Godly Hills. Uh, Godly. Sounds Godly. like Goggly. Goggly <laughs> Hills. Welcome to the dry lands of the Sahara of Christchurch. Okay, right. In the background. So we have to figure out where to start and if we can even do a walk here because apparently the walks are, some of them are temporarily closed. So there it says, that's what I expected. So one of the tracks has suffered damage during recent rain events. Can be slippery after rain and there are also hazards. Uh -huh. Holds. Part of the tracks are closed. So we have like, it is a three hour. I read on the Altrius app, the apps I'm using for all the hiking. I don't think we're gonna do it because it's too, too exposed. No, it's too exposed. I, I don't feel like it. You can walk some of it, walk some of it anyway. Yeah. See how we get on, yeah? I mean, people say it's definitely worth the track. There's even a track that goes all the way to Littleton and back, and that's even worth it. Um, yeah. But so Taylor's mistake to Godly Head. Oh yeah, the very glad is. So I think we're just gonna do a small walk because it's currently 2 p.m. Probably the hottest of the day. Didn't expect this now. You probably should come in the evening or in the morning. Definitely check the weather. Get some water, sun cream. Hat, sunglasses. Wow, it's very hot. Don't underestimate that. Wow, oh, this is absolutely the perfect spot to jump in the water. So bring your towels and your bathing stuff. So hidden. It's only like a half an hour drive from the city center from Brest Street. Wasn't even there on the seafront part of. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's some place, isn't it? But also, when the weather is bad, then I wouldn't... Yeah, you're afraid of your house falling down. Then I wouldn't down. want to live there if the weather is bad. That's the only downfall. So this is the track, Goodly Hatch Heritage Track. Oh, they actually have a uh, run on. Today, it is another update on the work from February 7 till June 2024. Um, so they have it marked out, so we can still take this way. Let's make it happen, come on. This is just, guys, I can't... I can't get over this. A lot of people have recommended it in the videos, 
saying, oh, you miss going to the Goodly Head. I mean, obviously you can't do everything. Make sure but, you don't miss it as well. But yeah, guys, I know why you're all commenting this. The mini paradise so so to hell. Yeah, to do this I didn't because- didn't expect it now, to be honest. No. Oh, yeah. This is an. Did not expect moment. No, this yeah definitely did not expect moment, guys. Definitely another reason why we like Christchurch so much. I would say it's one of our favorite cities. Yeah, definitely up there. Sheep. Yes. There's sheep, Madeline. Sheep on the path. There is sheep. Look at the beautiful waters. Maybe they're also walking to the Goodly Head. <laughs> yeah. We have a bit of bit of we have a bit of wildlife on the on the path. Not wildlife, someone owns them sheep of course, but yeah, that's hilarious. Oh, I shouldn't say sheep. Yeah. Guys, how, the, how many times people have commented now on our videos, oh. correcting us, saying sheep is not a plural, it's Give it sheep. over. You understand what, what we mean, so it's not an issue. <laughs> Maybe I should just call them sheepy. Sheepies. So let's call them sheepy, that's cuter anyways. Sheepy. People live on them hills, man. That's, That's mad. So adorable. Right on the on the coast, coastal cliffs, guys. It's a bit dangerous, though. I'm not sure if I could live there. <laughs> oh, I have I have to say, like, if this would be all like really green, then it maybe reminds me of Ireland. Think about everything was really green with the cliffs. Yeah, yeah, in the winter probably. Yeah. Also, I have to say, maybe the Canary Island. That's the closest what I'm thinking feeling. of. Yes. Yeah. You have plenty of experience there, so. Yeah, we've been to a few islands in the Canaries. Also, guys, the, th the thing is, I'm not native, and I'm picking up whatever Glenn says. And Glenn has dyslexia, so sometimes we develop a really funny language. <laughs> so I sometimes Make call words it. Up sometimes. He makes his words up, and then I copy them because sometimes I think it's English. That's how you learn a language. You learn from the natives. The native English. Yeah, you speakers. do learn from the natives. Probably not but the like, best person to learn from. Yeah. Uh, it's a sheep. <gasps> Look at him! Ah, sheep! Oh, sheep, sheep. We just, we just talked about it. The sheep! Ah. But that sounds not right. Because in German we put like an S on like plural on everything. So maybe that's also. I call it just sheeps, the clan mother language. We're entering the Rockville Hazard area. Should we continue? Maybe it's just over there and then come back. Yeah, because it's getting hot. So. It's getting hot. Okay, let's go to this black sign there and then turn around. We just arrived here. Actually, this is where we are. I don't know. Can you see that? Well, past, past Harry's Bay Cave. So it's Speak maybe... Down there, the cave. Yeah, it's actually down there. Claire wants to go to the cave. Want to go down to the cave? I don't know. It's hot. So yeah, it's, it's probably halfway. Because we actually just made it back to the car. Oh, you're laughing so good. Thank you. Doing the day, yeah? It's pretty hot out there. Oh, yeah. Might as well jump in, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> might as well, eh? Hey. Cool, yeah. Enjoy, lads. So, we just decided to actually jump in the water and just made our way back to the car. And now, on our way to the water because it's so hot. And even I need a refreshment. I don't know. No, I think it's the. Is it the surfing kind of center? The one here, yeah. As a pier looking over the water, so I think it's a surfing center. That's how you do it. Look in, refresh yourself, and you're buzzing for the day. I couldn't even go in. Really. You, Madeline, you always have this issue. Oh yeah, I'm so scared so of scared waves. of the waves because I because I don't want to get my head on the water. That freaks me out. Poor Mado. No, I don't. Everybody like has their issues, but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I I went in. I got wet, so. That's all that matters. It's very refreshing. Well, you get sorted. Let's go. Okay, let's go and get an ice cream. Look at this. They even have showers here. Happy days. Go that so close. Guys, we just made it back to Thunderbird. Actually, we're before like the Bohemian Bakery is just over there. So we are now checking out Utopia ice cream. Clem probably doesn't want that ice cream, ice cream, but I gonna have it's ice cream. It's all for Mado. Mado's taking them for the team. Yeah. Got Oh, that's pretty cool. Land Rover. No, classical beauty. Utopia ice, some hot waffles. Uh, what a place. Can you get a Utopia ice, today's that's nice, flavors. That's a nice flavor. Yeah, go for it, yeah. How are you doing, guys? You all right? Very good. We're well, just outside, it's in the garden. Jeez, I, I think I, I took like five minutes to decide. You always take your time to decide, though. Mm. Takes you always a bit of time. They let you, they let you try, though. So I was trying different flavors in there. 
I have some really interesting flavors. Now I got creme brulee. What is it called? Creme brulee is kind of a French dessert. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's 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 delicious. How delicious are you talking? Yeah, ten out of ten. We need a rating. Ten out of ten. Mm. Awesome rating. Mm. That's the, yeah. I have to say it's as good as pepperoni ice cream. Yeah, messing. And you find it here in Christchurch. Mm, yeah. I mean, and you have to try it though. Oh wow, it's incredible. Mm. It's a bit of salt in there, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. Salty ice cream. You cannot go wrong with that decision. Mm. That is gorgeous. Very good. Well done. Guys, I'm just finishing my delicious Utopia ice cream. Absolutely amazing. You have Look to come you. here. Seriously. In your element. One of the one of the best ice creams I had in New Zealand. What? Really? Yeah, it is 10 out of 10. Patagonia, Patagonia, Patagonia is a 10 out of 10. They're both 10 out of 10. So they're up, the, they're up at the top anyway. And they are all up to my standards. So if you're in that area, guys, really enjoyed Sumner and the Goodly Head. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish the walk. But if you're in the area, I think you should check out these places. They're absolutely amazing. Yep. We continue, we're gonna stay a bit longer in Christchurch. We're actually heading to town and meeting some people that reach out to us sure. to our Instagram. YouTube channel yeah. and Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're watching always our watching our videos and we always love to catch up with you guys. So looking forward to meet some of you. Really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and comment down below. And we hope to see you in the next adventure. It's gonna be a special one. It's gonna be Glenn's birthday special. Glenn's birthday special. Birthday, okay. birthday special. We have some really really cool blend we're gonna stay in one of the most amazing airbnbs you can only imagine so we really hope you stay tuned for this Special next episode, episode. Yeah. see Very you next one well. bye care. best time of the day barbecue time oh